Look at that. Got some catfish. Oh, we're gonna be about to put him up on this dock. Come on, buddy. Okay, well this is a 1965 Coleman lantern because I'm cooking on the 1965 Coleman stove today with white gas at Coleman fuel. Basically, it's unleaded gas without all the automotive stuff in it. All right, I got home late today, so it's after dark. I'm sorry. I was doing some volunteer work on a Saturday, doing my civic duty. Anyway, what I want to do is cook some catfish that I caught yesterday. And I want to use a rub I saw in this book by Stephen Reichlin called Raging Cajun Rub. Now, Stephen Reichlin is not a Raging Cajun, but he mentions in here that this has got all the right Louisiana flavors, and I think he does. I think these are flavors for people that know how to spell chapatulas, plaisance, for the kind of people who know that Fontenot ends in a T, but Gotro ends in an X. All right, people that spell calcashoe. Now, if you can't spell those things, I still think you'll like these flavors. So it's Raging Cajun Rub. Uh, his book, his um, recipe that's in this book is available for free online at Barbecue Bible USA, and I'll put a link to that. But I like it so much that I, I've learned to like it better than the regular fish blackening season that I make or the store-bought stuff I've been buying. And I have been waiting to try it on some fish. I tried it on a brisket a while back I've um, that was on a video. But I've sprinkled this stuff on top of potato salad. I have uh, sprinkled it on top of just about anything I eat with rice. I really am loving this rub. And uh, when I got home tonight, it was almost dark. I was gonna cook these fish, and I realized that I was almost out of this rub and only made it a month ago. So that tells you how much I like it. Anyway, I caught a couple catfish yesterday, so I'm blackening them up on an old stove. I'm gonna show you that old stove. Got this old lantern going, so it's gonna be a little dark. Seems like every time I blacken fish, it gets dark on me, but that's the way uh, life is, I guess. Anyway, I'll show you what the fish look inside in a little bit and uh, we'll take a taste test in there. This is how we do it, Big Lou Barbecue. She don't look like much, but she cooks well. This is a Coleman 413G. It was made in January of 1965. First year they came out with the G model. And what happened was these uh, bars here could get so hot that they'd bend, like that one's bent. So now they have like a round burner thing on the uh, 413 models or did after that, and they changed it like in August of that year. But this is a January of, four, of 65. Yeah, it's ugly, but this is the one I use. This is the one I cook on, this is the one I take camping. I've cleaned up a lot of them and repainted a lot of them, and I thought about cleaning this one up and repainting it, but once I do it, then I'm not gonna wanna use it, you know? Anyway, it's uh, 52 years old, and I'm 47, and if I look that good, uh, in five more years, when I'm 52, it'll be a blessing. Anyway, this thing's gonna cook our fish for us. All right, let me show you. You gotta, you fill it with a uh, Coleman fuel, AKA white gas, which is like an unleaded automotive gas without all the automotive stuff in it, all right? Also sold on the Coleman fuel brand. You fill it up here. All right, you pump it up 80 times with this pump. I've already done that. Lock the pump down. We're gonna turn it up and we'll light it. I'll show you how to light it in just a few minutes. Let's get the fish ready and we'll get the pan ready to go. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, these fillets are from the two big fish. This is from the little fish. These are gonna be fine just like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the two big fillets so that they'll cook even. Like this and like that. All right, now I've got some uh, butter here that I radioactivated in the um, in the microwave. Now my son and the friends are playing basketball in the background. If you hear them, I asked them to be quiet. So, oh well, that's part of life. I'll cook like real people. And we got kids and they play. Can't blame them for that. Besides, sound of basketball in the background sounds good, doesn't it? What's wrong with that, huh? All right, now, let me flip these over. We'll butter the other side and then we'll put the seasoning on them. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, got the uh, fish buttered up and we're gonna put this uh, Raging Cajun rub on it. I'm telling y'all, this is good, good stuff. And uh, he designed it for fish and I haven't tried it on fish yet. Tried it on lots of other things. I've even put it on uh, potato salad. So 
baked potatoes. I've done it on that. I've done it on lots of things. All right, this is my other hand now. Not the one I cut, touched the fish with. All right, we're just gonna rub the fish down with all this, this stuff. I don't think you can have too much of it maybe because you want it to blacken. Really enjoying this rub. I like it better than my traditional blackening seasoning recipe that I had. And I liked it a lot, but maybe it's just because this is different, but I've really been enjoying it. So this is the second video using this stuff because I like it. Big Lou barbecue. Let's try to light this again. Like that. And we're gonna let the flame turn blue and then we're gonna turn it down. Okay, so the flame's beginning to turn blue. And we're gonna turn this down like that. It'll flare up just a little bit, maybe a little bit more, but. Turn it down to a nice blue flame. Well, I think you missed it. You didn't get a good chance to see the pieces on there. I know it's getting dark on me, but I got home late, so I want to cook this fish tonight because we just caught it yesterday. Anyway, I laid the pieces out on there, and um, we're going to let them go on that side for a couple minutes. We're going to flip them over to the other side. Okay, Big well, the other scene was a little too dark. I moved the lantern around. I lit up a 1965 Coleman lantern, too, as long as I'm cooking on a Coleman stove. So maybe you can see a little bit better now. Yeah, we're going to keep the lantern right there. Anyway, I'll let these cook on this side for about two minutes. We're going to flip them over and um, do the other side. Big Lou barbecue. Right, let's flip these, see, see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are those two uh, fillets from the small fish. And now let's... Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. I don't know what the kids are doing in the background with the glass breaking, but that kind of scares me, doesn't it? That piece needs to stay on there a little bit longer on the other side, so we'll just wait on it. Need my tongs. Well, I believe this piece here in the center is done. Looks like that right there. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. And I believe this other little one. It's almost done. I'm going to let it go just a little bit longer. Flip these one more time. Just to be sure. I'm going to pull them on off of here show you what they look like inside. But just about two minutes on the side. And if you think they need to go another side. It's not about burning. It's about getting some flavor on there. But they will, they will get a little black. That's why it's called blackening. That big piece not quite done. I know it's not done. Okay, well this is that last thick piece. And let me show you what I did. I pulled the other pieces off. I went through and I took my spatula and I cut like that right through there. Okay? And it kind of flattens it out a little bit. Then flipped it on over like that. Now it's starting to fall apart, but that's what I needed to do to get it to cook. All right, these pieces are done. They're coming off of here. And we're gonna go inside and enjoy them. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, well it was hot outside, and I'm sorry it got dark, but that, can you see that? That is what that thick piece of fish looks like. And like I said, I cut it on the inside here to uh, kind of layer it out a little flatter. And it looks like it's going to be just fabulous. So let's uh, try it here. Try this end piece first. Mm -hmm. That Cajun rub is good stuff. Um, I might have put it on a little thick for a lot of people. You don't need to put it on that thick. I put it on as thick as I normally do the blackening season. I may not do that next time. But um, I'm enjoying it. I think my daughter's going to enjoy it. Um, Maybe some other members of my family might need to eat it with fish. I mean with milk, but 
Second taste test. Wonderful. Mmm. I love catfish. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Sorry it got dark on you. Uh, I'm going to do a blackened fish video where it doesn't get dark. I think I've got two or three blackened or crayfish grilling videos and that are, it gets dark and I got to use lantern light. I got one or two grilling, fish grilling videos that it doesn't, but we'll get it right next time. Anyway, this Cajun rub by Stephen Reichlin, he's not a Cajun, he's not from Louisiana, but I think he hit it right on the head. Love these flavors. Well, I wasn't going to do a final thoughts or analysis scene, but I think I got to. All right, um, I'm gonna have to set it up a little bit, but I wanna tell you, my wife, I thought she would think it was a bit too spicy. She said, no, that seasoning is great. All right, I mentioned in that scene that Reichland's not from Louisiana and he's not a Cajun. I'm not a Cajun either, but I'm from Louisiana and I'm familiar with the flavors. And uh, I gotta tell you, he hit the nail on the head with that seasoning. The addition of the filet powder in that season, man, that is good. No other blackened season I've ever used has that filet powder in it. Now, I've been cooking blackened catfish since I was in high school. That was during the Reagan administration. Yeah, Reagan was president then. That's a lo how long I've been doing it. Catfish is a major part of my diet, and blackening is my favorite way to cook catfish. That's my own pond that I caught the fish out of. So I eat a lot of catfish. I make a lot of fish. This is what my daughter said, my 15-year-old daughter. And like I said, I make a lot of fish. This is what my 15-year-old daughter said. She took one bite of that uh, fish. She said, Daddy, that's the best fish you've ever made. I said, does that mean all my other fish was bad? She says, no, all your other fish is good, but this is the best fish you've ever made. I don't know. I wouldn't tell you this, but I, think, I think that rub is fantastic, man. I am loving it. I made some about a month or two ago for a month or so ago for a brisket cook, and it makes a little over a cup, and I'm already out. I've sprinkled it on everything. I love the stuff. It really is good. So I want to thank my buddy John from Mississippi for giving me this book a few months back. Uh, just that one recipe is worth it, but the recipe is available for free online, and I'm going to put a link down in the bottom. Anyway, I just wanted to share the final thoughts. That uh, blackened fish came out great. And if you're blackening fish and you've got a real thick fillet, cut a few uh, slits on the bottom side of it, and it'll lay out a little flatter and cook up flaky. I did that to two, two of the thick pieces last night. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, the video's gone on long enough, but I really appreciate you watching Big Lou Barbecue. Raging Cajun Rub, Black, uh, black and Catfish, from Stephen Reichland's Rub Recipe.